You really don't need to chop it that finely because they're going to break down in the oil. According to your recipe, and you don't have to chop them at all. Oh. A lot of people have opinions on what pantry pasta is. For me, it's like, I want just whatever dried pasta you got at home, uh, some Parmesan cheese, any kind of hard, salty cheese, and my secret ingredient, totally optional, good anchovies. It's gonna add like this nice umami, what's in that, it makes it really special. But if you're not into it, leave it out. First things first, I'm gonna cook some pasta going. The sauce, 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 happens really, really quickly. So I just kind of cook my pasta while I'm building the sauce. I'm starting with bucatini. Lots of salt, forgot to add the salt. I like bucatini, it has a little bit more weight uh, than spaghetti. And I just love the way the kind of sauce interacts with the pasta. So right now I'm taking four cloves of garlic and just very thinly slicing it. Careful with my fingers. That's like I know. I'm gonna take some anchovies out. I'm gonna get another bowl. Don't look at my ass. In this recipe, we call for, I believe, like three anchovies, and it's totally optional. You don't need it. If, or, I mean, I think you need it, but if you don't think you need it, you don't need it. Uh, I'm gonna go for four, because I don't like listening to myself, basically. Or anyone, for that matter. I'm gonna add my quarter cup of olive oil, add the garlic. I and I want to be stirring this constantly just because the garlic does brown rather quickly. Garlic is brown. I'm gonna add the anchovies. And then I'm just gonna cook until the anchovies kind of dissolve. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes. You could add more, but you're gonna add black pepper, so it depends on how spicy you like it. Cup and a half of pasta water. One and a quarter cup? One and a quarter cup pasta water. I'm adding the Parmesan to the sauce to help it thicken and it'll cling on to the pasta really nicely. I just wait till it kind of comes to a simmer and then I add the pasta. I haven't even gone to like a proper show in so long, but like if you see me as like a, like I was a 13 year old kid, like just like black nail polish and just like, mosh pits, like I would love to go back. Yeah, this is like, this would not fly in this kitchen. This is, no, 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 no. this is a band that uh, Brad sent to me on Friday. The band is called Bong Ripper and the song is called <laughs> Satan. Anyways, I'm gonna add the pasta to the sauce, unsalted butter. I'm gonna add a lot of black pepper as well. Stirring this just so the pasta doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm gonna just remove it so it doesn't cook anymore. Ooh. I'm gonna give a hit of lemon zest. Just like a little bit and a few drops of juice. Like a teaspoon or two. And then some flat leaf parsley, but you could use whatever tender herb you like. I go pretty coarse with this. And then I don't top my pasta with the parsley. I actually stir the parsley in so it kind of warms through a bit. So you extract some of that grassiness. See how that sauce is clinging to the pasta? A little more oil, some more parm, and a little more pepper. There you have it, that's my version of pantry pasta made with only a handful of ingredients. Super easy, uh, whether you're making it for one, two, or more. It's a good ass recipe.